Hello, welcome to the video for this listing. It's a Panasonic Lumix TZ20. Compact camera, 14 megapixels with a 16 times optical zoom. I'll just run through the uh, accessories. Uh, the USB data cable, important cable this, it means that you can plug it into your PC and download the uh, images from the camera without having to fiddle around with the SD card. On the subject of SD cards, there is a brand new SD card which is the micro version and its adapter. You can use this on different types of cameras and uh, that's 16 gigs. A brand new soft carry case which uh, has um, a clip on lanyard. You can strap it over your shoulder. Fits in there nicely and just gives you uh, a nice padded bag for protection. Uh, the charger for this one, there's no original charger, but there is a aftermarket uh, universal charger. So it will accept lots of different types of batteries. You simply just uh, pop this battery into the charger, plug it into the mains. It will accept lots of different uh, 3.7 volt cells and you can align the little uh, contacts and it will uh, automatically sort out positive and negatives. You don't have to worry about that and it will shut down when it's fully charged. So uh, what you do is you pull the contacts down towards the bottom there, uh, pull the uh, slot back, put the battery in as per the photograph, and just align the little contacts to the two end contacts there. Once you've done this once or twice, it will be dead easy. So pop them in and it will, if I got that, I've not got it far enough down. There we are, that's a bit better. So once it's um, in right, the top will illuminate and then just plug it into the mains and it will uh, go up and down until it's fully charged. And there is a USB output on there as well. So I hope that's uh, made sense. So it's dead easy to do. Just pull the slot back, offer it in and clamp it down. Ready to charge, plug it in. Okay. Now the camera itself has a slot here for the battery and for the SD card. So we just pop the battery in. Um, it has a built-in memory as well, not much, but just enough for a two or three uh, snaps. So once you uh, put the uh, battery in, turn it on, and you can then operate the manual zoom. I'll tell you what, we'll bring our model in. And we have macro modes and automatic modes and the mode dial is operated at the top here. So if it's in IA that's automatic. So we offer it up to our subject and press the button and that's the uh, built-in memory full. I think it takes about three shots but the flash fires and then we've got our menu here and we can uh, go through the setup. Now it's not touch screen in that aspect of operating the menu, that's all done via these north, south, east, west buttons here. But when you put it into uh, say aperture mode and then you can use it as a, as a touch screen like so. So uh, oddly they didn't make it for the menu but they did do it for the camera functions. And then you've got playback and video and that's uh, one of the shots we just took there we go so that's the memory there and it does have a gps it has built-in stereo i've put a um, video up of the video quality which is actually very good it's got image stabilization as well the shutter comes across and covers the lens up and then we just ooh, seems to have gone a bit odd let's just drop the battery out a second might be because it's not been used for a bit, but uh, turn it on again, Let's put it into record mode. So dedicated record button there, and these are all the different settings that goes through on the screen there as well. So the video is good, and it uh, has plenty of power, this camera, in terms of uh, photographic ability. Uh, Lumix, good product, and that's the lens itself. It's nice and uh, clean on the actual glass itself. I think there might be a bit of ingress into the lens. If you point it at a wall, for example, and uh, zoom right up in, you can just see a few tiny spots and that's where there's a little bit of uh, degradation to the image, but it doesn't really show too much on general photographs, so it's just something that can't be helped because they 
extend and then they suck air in and then they blow air out as they go back in and out. So that's the story behind the Panasonic TZ20 and uh, wrist strap as well, uh, bag, SD card, all the rest of it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.